Hello, in this lecture, we're going to record a transaction related to the accounts payable in which we're going to purchase supplies on account. So we are the company here. We're purchasing the supplies, in this case of Computer Inc., from the vendor, not paying cash. What we're going to be paying with is an IOU in this case, that IOU being the accounts payable account. We will record the journal entry up here on the left-hand side and then post that journal entry to the trial balance on the right-hand side where we have assets in green, liabilities in orange, and the equity section light blue, the income statement including revenue and expenses in the dark blue. First question, is cash affected? In this case, we're going to say no. How do we know it's not affected? Because in words, it says on account. On account means accounts receivable or accounts payable generally. In this case, it means accounts payable meaning we bought something but have not yet paid for it. So I like to think about what we received first in this case. Although we know that the account is going to be accounts payable, a lot of students have trouble knowing whether it should be debited or credited because liabilities are accounts we work with less. So let's think about what we received first, which in this case is, of course, supplies. If we look at our trial balance, it's up here in the assets section. Like other assets, it's going to have a debit normal balance, and therefore we got more of it, and then we're going to have to make it go up, which in this case would be another debit. So we would want to be debiting supplies, and if we posted that out, we would be increasing supplies, debiting it, and increasing the supplies. What then will the credit go to? It's not going to go to cash because we didn't pay cash. We're going to credit instead the accounts payable account. So now we can see that it will be credited because we debited the asset account of supplies. And does that make sense? Well, the accounts payable account is a credit balance account because all liability accounts are, and we need to make that bad thing go up. So we need to make the liability go up by doing the same thing to it, which in this case would be another credit. So it does make sense that we are crediting it, increase the accounts payable account, and the effect on the accounting equation then would be an increase in assets, an increase in the liabilities in the credit direction because they're credit balance accounts and there's no effect on the equity section which is the entire blue area. Quick point here on the supplies you might be asking why is it up here in an asset and not an expense? That is because we should be putting the supplies on there as an asset and then expensing them when we're going to be use them, using them if we are to be using them for multiple time periods within the future. Let's take a look at the net income. Is there any effect on net income? None. Why? Because although we purchase supplies, in this case, we haven't yet expensed them because we haven't yet used them. We just purchased them and put them in to uh, the storage area. Therefore, no effect on any of the blue accounts over here. No effect on revenue, no effect on expenses. Therefore, the revenue was at 10000 before this, and it's still at the 10000 income after this transaction.